This content is for higher tier only. If you are sitting the foundation tier exam, then you can skip this video. Active transport is the movement of substances against a concentration gradient. Substances are actively transported from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration. This process requires energy in the form of ATP, which is provided when cells aerobically respire. A classic example in biology where active transport takes place is in the root hair cells of plants. They will absorb solutes such as mineral ions against the concentration gradient, with the goal being to lower the root hair cell water concentration. This ensures that the process of osmosis continues effectively by preventing equilibrium being reached between the soil and the root hair cells. Root hair cells also have lots of mitochondria, which release energy in the form of ATP via aerobic respiration to drive the active transport. A common question that pupils lose marks on is failing to link that active transport relies on aerobic respiration. For example, a question might show some data regarding water uptake by a plant in different conditions. You might be asked to explain why the rate of water uptake is lower when the plant has been poisoned and can no longer utilize oxygen. Now, of course, because there is no oxygen, that means aerobic respiration cannot take place. This means no energy, ATP, is being released and active transport requires an input of energy in the form of ATP. This means the root hair cell is unable to absorb mineral ions against the concentration gradient and the water concentration inside the root hair cell will reach equilibrium with the soil the plant is in. The rate of water uptake is therefore reduced. In the next lesson, we will look at enzymes.